So uh, these are some major components what we need to secure in a industrial environment. So basically this is split into two parts. One is network security, other is endpoint security. So network security is a subgroup of networking. Uh, so when we do networking, we need to take care of network security as well. It involves securing the connected network infrastructure from the core to edge of the network perimeter. So if we have a network switch in the level zero or level one, and we have network switch at level four and level five, we need to ensure the cyber security of all these switches or all these routers, firewalls, whatever is there in between. Typically managed by a network administrator. So a role uh, is assigned to network admin. Network security involves implementing a security policy. So organization must have a security policy and deploying network software and hardware. Two, what is the motive to do that? The motive is to protect the network, its infrastructure and its all traffic from external cyber attacks. To protect all the OT assets and resources available by other network from unauthorized access. So if you have a network, it should be uh, protected that it cannot be accessed from outside you know, in an unauthorized way. So all the accesses to your network, it should be only uh, through the proper access control, through the proper uh, authorization process only. That uh, it should not have the uh, default username password that anyone can just Google it on the internet and they can uh, type it as admin admin or admin password and they can enter into the, any of the network switches. So we need to take care of all those things, then ensure authorized users have adequate access to these uh, network OTSs and resources to effectively perform work. So yeah, in, um, in motive of protecting assets, we should not over protect our assets that even the authorized users do not have the access of those things. So what, what will happen? It will impact your availability or it, it may impact uh, at the time of the need when there is an emergency and he will not have the details or he not have the access to access some of the switches or the firewalls or any other network devices. So we need to find a balance between both of these two between the access given and how much access given and to whom access is given to to make the environment as a secure as well as the environment as a reliable and operational. So major components what uh, comes in network security are firewalls, intrusion prevention systems, network access controls, security, information and event management. These are the four most essential components of network security. So we need to install firewall. So what does firewall does? Firewall, firewall provides a segmentation and it is uh, placed between the two zones like we study some zones in our SCADA topic also so we can place firewall between two zones so that it can monitor all the traffic whatever is passing from one zone to another zone then we have intrusion prevention system so intrusion prevention system what it does like it it is placed in series to the any communication so it will analyze all those packets and if required it can block those traffic also so ips is not recommended to implement in an active mode so what we can do we can implement this ips just in a detection mode not in an active mode to block any traffic and we can analyze all those logs on our seam server and all those things then we have network access control uh, system so this is basically for the network related authentications and then we uh, should have seam so seam is a uh, security information event management so what basically seam does it collects all the logs from all the endpoints all the network devices all the firewall switches and then and correlates all those logs like if there are five invalid login attempts on a switch uh, it will check with there uh, is there any intrusion is there any traffic changes also there so it will correlate all those logs in the same time stem and it will try to find a link between the event and will try to create one incident so this is the purpose of the seam and it cannot be done manually because the volume of the logs uh, are very high. The volumes of the logs generated by the firewalls, at work, uh, IPS, SNAC, even switches, firewalls, they, they are very high. So it's a very cumbersome to do it manually. So we need a seam type of solution so that it can be done automated. Then uh, another is our endpoint security. So endpoint security refers to the protection of organization network against the threat that originate from on-premise or remote devices. 
So what is an endpoint? Endpoint can be any device such as a smartphone, tablet, laptop, server, PC or IoT device that serves as the entry point to the assets and applications at an enterprise. So for basic understanding, like we are industrial people, so we understand language from the industry. So for us, industry industrial endpoints are workstations, HMIs, control panels, local user interface, historian servers, then other any other servers. It could be vibration server, it could be PC server, management servers if we have any patch management server backup management servers active directory so those are the endpoints proxy servers and all other workstations and server from other level so whatever is uh, is a device from where the user gives a command or to operate or to manage the industrial control system those are the endpoints we need to uh, find the proper security measures for uh, these uh, endpoints as well so what type of solutions we implement? We implement uh, application allow listing for endpoint. We uh, put anti-malware, antivirus. We put some agents also to collect logs. If, but thing is that whatever we put on this system, whatever we install on, the, on this system, we need to take proper OEM approval, proper uh, vendor approval is required, proper testing of these solutions are required. We cannot directly go and install anything on this system because that will violate the policy and warranty schemes or we might be we do not have the service level agreement like for for doing those things uh, with the oem so and also it may impact the com process control uh, performance as well so let us suppose if we install antivirus and it was not tested earlier and we, if we install it can consume the ram and uh, the hard disk of the workstation and might be your workstation start operating sluggish might be your workstation start uh, uh, fetching data slowly and uh, Finally, let's take a can see worst case scenario that it stops working. So in that case, what will happen that there will be unavailability issue and we know like in ICS, we need to always focus on availability first. So we need to first test it in our offline environment, not connected to production systems. And once it is tested, released and stamped by the OEM and it is functional very good, then only we can implement it in the production environment. So this type of solutions we can implement, we can do proper patch management, we can take backup of our system. So all these type of security solutions we can implement endpoint detection response. These are latest XDR, EDR, so UEBA. There are many technologies out there, but we need to be, we need to see like what is the, our risk and what type of solutions we need to implement to uh, mitigate those risks as per our risk. Uh, tolerance capacity and it, it varies from organization to organization type of manufacturing industry to another manufacturing industry so it might be the risk in oil and gas industry is higher than in a paper mill it's simple so we need to do all pros and cons analysis then only we can uh, go and decide what we need to implement so risk assessment is the key so we can always start with the risk assessment and once this gap analysis or risk assessment is done based on that feedback only we need to uh, decide and design the cybersecurity uh, architecture and then implement it. So that's all about the components to secure. Now let's move ahead. Thank you.